For fully automatic functionality of the machine, we press on the auto button. This takes us through to a screen that allows us to identify the vehicle we want to charge. We can actually use the internal database or alternatively enter our vehicle details in manually. Once we've entered in the vehicle details, we press enter. Once vehicle details are set, we go to our options menu for the automatic functions. So nitrogen leak test, we actually aren't running. We'll set our vacuum time through to 20 minutes. We'll actually perform a leak test and we'll set our charge to 600 grams. From here we have the options of oil inject, yes or no, additional oil and select our PAG and PO. So we're actually going through and selecting our oil menu. Yes, we want to inject oil. We only want to inject the amount that we recovered so we don't add additional oil. And then we select our PAG and it's not a hybrid vehicle so we leave our PO oil off. Enter. We enter in our die, and we'll add in this case, three mil. Once our details are entered in relative to our volumes of oil and refrigerant, it then likes to do a internal flush of the hoses again. So enter, connect the service hoses to the storage ports and open the coupler valves, exactly the same we did in the initialization or the original setup. Other than entering the information manually, we can actually use the internal database. So in this case, we're going to actually service a Volkswagen Passat. We scroll through to Volkswagen. From here, we scroll down to Passat. In this case, it's an A33, 2.5, 11 to 19, from 2011 upwards. Our refrigerant charge is documented. We can add or continue takes us through our submenu again, so we will go through and we'll change our vacuum time through to 20 minutes. Our leak test will perform and our charge is set and we will charge through both sides. Oil inject, yes. Additional oil, no. Yes, it is PAG. And in this case, we're going to inject three mil of dye. Do you want to flush the service hoses? Yes. Connect the service hoses to the storage ports and open the coupler valves.